Ladies and gentlemen, good Sunday morning to you. Absolutely beautiful day here. Lakewood, New Jersey. We're seeing what they have on the lot. Looks like they have a couple new tundras over there. And they've moved the used ones over to the corner over here. So we will start with these over here. Check it out. It's getting to that point in August where the mornings are a little bit chilly. And that is a good thing. Because it is not insanely hot yet. We will be stopping at this dealership and the dealership closer to me that looked like when I drove by this morning they had a couple uh, new ones over there that we haven't seen yet. So it looks like they still have the trail edition and the 1794, which I would have lost a bet on because I expect this to be long gone by now. Still says 67995. If I remember correctly, there is 10,000 and change miles on this. Magnetic gray metallic, regular iForce, TRD off-road package, 2022 model year. Got the Predator steps on the side. With this being parked over here, it's actually a lot easier of an area to film it. So I like that. Pristine truck. Beautiful. I think people are just waiting for that price to come down. Composite bed, deck rail system. This has the outlet and the bed light. We've talked lately about how the press vehicle I have right now, which is a limited Crew Max iForce Max, does not come with the package with the lights in the bed and the outlet, um, but standard on 1794 Platinum Capstone TRD Pro. Blows my mind that it doesn't have it in the limited automatically, though. Because the limited is when you start getting up into the the good stuff there. So 10697 on mileage, 68000 has the saddle brown interior. But if you are interested in this truck, I will say this, being it has been sitting here for a while, they're probably ready to make a deal on it. So come on down if you're interested. Magnetic gray, 1794, you really can't go wrong. That's the best color with the best trim with low miles. So next to it, again, I've said this a few times since we've been here. I just don't think anyone knows what we're looking at when it comes to uh, local consumers. This is a very rare Tundra. Only made for one year, the Trail Edition. 1794 grill in front, black surround, SR5, lower SR5, not like SR5 upgrade. You still get the floor mounted shifter, you get the fabric seats, they have some tan stitching there. What it's for, the Trail Edition, the special part of it, you get bed boxes, and that one can act as a cooler as well. Spray on bed liner that says Tundra. Beautiful truck. You get what I always say, the TRD off-road wheel without the silver plating on the front. And the price of this one here. Oh, let's see. 41995, 41620 on miles. Pretty clean, basic interior, but you know, if you like those special editions that come out every once in a while. Uh, this is one for you. This may be a big deal one year because it's a 2021, the last year of the last platform, the last year of 5.7 V8. Um, and it only lasted one year, the Trail Edition. So if you're into those little fun packages they come out with every once in a while, this could be one of them. It also comes in white, cement, and army green. It's only four colors. Look at this beast, 2019, 39.995 on the price there big wheel and tire package snorkel trd pro from 2019 came with the i, sh I say snorkel it's actually not a snorkel it's a a thing they put on there so as if you were desert running you could get clean air by getting the air above the vehicle instead of down low in the dust but everyone called it a snorkel which i feel like is why they discontinued it after one model year white trd sport looks like they're pretty empty here this is usually filled up white trd sport over here that we've seen many a times again i already know walking up to this there's no sticker but a quick walk around of as we have two sports so that's what we're focusing on today 20 inch unique wheel bilstein suspension with an inch drop in the front trd grill up front this is a crew max if i remember correctly this has the fabric seats 
and the eight inch screen. All right, save you a little money there, but you can get the TRD Sport Premium package and that will give you the soft text. And if you get the premium audio package, that gives you the big 14 inch screen and the bed lights with the outlet. They tie that into the premium audio package for some reason. So this has the deck rail system. It has your average tie downs there. It's a beautiful truck. I love the white with the black all day long. Just beautiful. So I don't remember the price on this. I feel like it's 61. You'll be seeing the, the pop up here, but uh, that's a nice truck. It has, you know, sensors all these modern day tundras have you know all the good safety features toyota safety senses on there now i love the fact that these two trucks are next to each other because we just saw pretty base on the interior nothing crazy going on well this one is the premium package as far as trd sport premium so we have the soft text there Ah, and it has the 8-inch screen. Okay, there's one at the other dealership that has the 14-inch screen as well. And when you go around to the sticker on the other side, it's fully loaded. So this is the only difference here is fabric, soft X. But magnetic gray on sport for me is probably the winning color because it just blends so well. And the thing about the sport, they put more of a roadworthy tire on there. It does have a slight drop in the front, one inch blacked out badging. It's just a nice looking truck. To me, it's kind of like 1794 versus Platinum. 1794 has that, you know, ranch construction look to it, while the Platinum looks like a truck that belongs in the city. That's kind of how I feel like TRD Off-Road is that, you know, let's go off the beaten path, some fire roads, gravel roads, light off-roading, and this one is meant to be on the streets. But don't get me wrong, this could totally go off-road. Uh, four by four. One thing people don't know about the sport, and I always like to tell them because it's kind of important the TRD Off Road and the TRD Pro gives you the locking rear diff. The TRD Sport does not. There is no locking rear diff on TRD Sport. I'm an advocate to try to bring the locking rear diff to all Tundra. Let me know what you think in the comments below about that. Would you like to see the locking rear diff available on all forms of Tundra? I know the answer will be yes, of course. So they actually have a sticker on this one. Let's check it out. So not much on here. This is the premium package. Like I said, there is the soft text. That's what the premium package gives you. The difference in regular sport and sport premium starts right here. The soft text seats, eight way power, adjustable front seats and two way power lumbar, heated front seats, dual zone, automatic climate control and color keyed outer door handles. 56, 693, 027 on the markup. And there is the markup stuff if you'd like to read. But that's a beautiful truck right there. And I do like the fact that you can build this in a way or get it built in a way where you can have the 14 inch screen. You don't have to have the 14 inch screen, soft texture, no. If you want to keep the cost down, that white one's going to be the way to go. That's pretty much the, the lower of the trims, but still looks great on the outside. Like the TRD Sport package itself doesn't change, it's the premium stuff that changes, as you saw was all interior stuff like the seating and the heated seats and stuff like that. So two very, very nice Tundras right there. So that is all they have for Tundras at the lot. As you can see, we're empty here too. Usually this is completely loaded up. It's weird. They go through, and I say they, I mean all the local dealers, go through these areas of just no Tundra. Ooh, wait, we're not done yet. One more Tundra. I see one back here. It looks like it's going to be a used. It has a Toyota World plate on the front, but it looks like, unless they got it with the bug deflector and the blacked out badge, we have a white. I think this is another TRD Sport. It is the day of TRD Sports, my friends. Let's see. Yep, TRD Sport. It has the pinstripe on it which means it's probably from the other dealership. Looks like it has a, a sticker in there. This might be new. I'll go on their website and see if anything pops up. But if it is new, it looks really good. I mean, it is cleaned up. Another white sport SR5 logo. This one has the pinstripe. It is the premium package because of the soft text there. It does have a sticker in there. This must be new, eight inch screen. 
So it's kind of like what we've been looking at. See, they got the WeatherTech bug deflector here. Oh, that's neat. I haven't seen one of these in a long time, but the way this sits down against the hood, it's pretty cool. It's got the black mirrors. Really does go together nice, but they blacked out the emblem in the front. So three sports today here at Lakewood Toyota. And it looks like on their website, they have a bunch coming in of all these different trims. And I can't wait for that. So hopefully next week we see a lot more trims. I found a sweet surprise at an adjacent lot, ladies and gentlemen, SX. As we know, one of my favorite packages on the SR5 trim. And this generation was gorgeous. It gives it that premium look for a not so premium price. Before COVID, you could probably score one of these for the low 40s. And look, it gives you blacked out wheels. It's body color all the way around. There's not a lot going on as far as technology. It doesn't have blind spot monitoring, parking sensors, or anything cool like that. But the body color aspect of it gives it a look of something premium, in my opinion. It is badgeless. The only thing on it is SX. The 5.7 badge isn't there. The 4x4 badge isn't there. No SR5, nothing. It's clean. You'll have the Toyota logo in front. Just a nice, clean truck. This is a 2021. So you got a rare bird here. Toyota Safety Sense, of course, is on it. Let's see if we can get a shot on the inside. So it's like fabric seats. You get the screen there. It's floor-mounted shifter. So you get the, the bucket seats, but it's a beauty. Super white was the name of the color that is now called Ice Cap. The window goes down in the back. It's awesome. Let's see what they're asking for it here. This is a Chevy dealership. Uh, third party price five, or excuse me, 50,868. This has 16,192 miles, 5.7 V8. That's the only engine they made. Someone needs to come pick this up. This is rare. Do they make the SX now? Absolutely. But this one I think is a steal for the time, for the look, for the less is more approach, but most importantly, the last year of that 5.7 V8 and this old school platform. You will not see a pickup truck like this again, folks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is about an hour later. We made our way down to the other dealership and the land of the sports continue. We do have a new vehicle, TRD Sport. And we also have what looks to be a 1794 with the TRD off-road package. So these two are new. That one has been there. In fact, we will start down here. Surprised to see this TRD Pro still sitting here. I know one of my viewers had interest in buying this and came to test drive it and uh, didn't end up pulling the trigger. So if you're interested in a magnetic gray TRD Pro, here it is, still sitting here. I would have lost a bet because this one has been here now for about, I wanna say three weeks to a month. Usually you don't see TRD Pros hang around too often. It is the black interior. It is going to be very loud, so hopefully the new mic I'm wearing helps. This doesn't have a lot of extras on it. Spray on bed liner. 73314, they want 76884, and that is the add-ons there. So pause the video if you'd like to see. Now, if you don't know much about the TRD Pro, it's based off of a limited platform. Power folding mirrors, JBL sound system, pano roof, heated ventilated soft tech seats. I mean, the thing is loaded up pretty nicely, so please keep that in mind. Now, the way you get the Pro, it's pretty much one way. You can only get iForce Max. You can only get the Crew Max with the five and a half foot bed. It always comes with things like the panoramic roof, JBL sound system, heated ventilated seats. The add-ons are things like side steps. It does have the fed in noise that you can bring to the dealer and shut off if you don't like. It says TRD Pro instead of iForce Max up on the hood. That's the only Tundra that does that with the iForce Max. Everything says iForce Max. Got the Toyota grill up front. Marker lights, a little bit wider. It's those big old fender flares there, different offset. There's BBS forged wheels. It's got skid plate in front. It's got uh, the Fox suspension. I almost said Bilstein suspension. It levels the truck out. It's about a one and a half inch lift. That is a Tacoma. I was going to give a comparison that, in case you don't know this, if it has the iForce Max, in fact, let's use my press vehicle to show you. If the truck has the iForce Max, it will say iForce Max on the hood, like so. See, if it doesn't have the iForce Max, it will not say anything 
as you will see momentarily. So before we go to this, TRD Pro, magnetic gray metallic, beautiful color, beautiful truck. If you're interested, who knows? Maybe they'll make a deal on it, right? So this is a nice truck, midnight black metallic. They got the pinstripe going, and it looks like the pinstripe is in the saddle brown kind of tan look. It is very tight around the truck, so we'll look at the sticker first. So the additions here, TRD off-road package, bed step, spray on bed liner, and the dual step running board black. All right. So this has the manual bed step, but please keep in mind, you can get the package for the 1794 Platinum uh, that has the automatic bed step and the automatic side steps. They come together. These are actual solid state side steps. So anyway, the price of this puppy, 70153 This is regular iForce. And as you will see, if you pause the video, all of the stuff that comes standard, which because it's 1794, quite a bit, five and a half foot bed. The total they want is 73, 723. Same additions as the one we just looked at. But that is, as always, as always, a beautiful truck because the 1794 is king when it comes to beauty. Spray on bed liner. Uh, you get the power outlet and the bed lights in the back. Very tight. They never parked them so close together. See if you, oh, there's a good view of the saddle brown interior. Pano roof, JBL, the works, the works. TRD grill up front that isn't in a black like that. That's the black TRD grill. That's more of like a gray. Chrome features all over the place. You also get the premium auto leveling headlights. Just a beautiful truck. Would you spend that kind of money on this? As I said in the video prior, the smoke mesquite that we did a couple weeks ago that we filmed, one of the viewers ended up coming to buy it, so that's a good sign. Thank you, viewers. This thing's beautiful. Very rarely do I see the Celestial Silver Metallic TRD Sport, but here it is. It's got a bed step, side steps, those big 20-inch sport wheels. Looks really good in the gray. I don't know why. Gray just does something to it. I can see on the inside it has the big 14-inch screen. I can see on the inside it has the soft text, which means TRD Sport Premium Package and the uh, Premium Audio Package is in there. Now, because the Premium Audio Package is in there, you get the bed lights, LED bed lights, and you get the outlet in the back. Beautiful truck, though. Man. It looks really good in silver. Spray on. Tundra. Look at all those additions. So the premium audio package, as you see, the big screen and the bed lights. Premium package on the TRD Sport. Heated leather steering wheel, PVM BSM outer mirrors, advanced technology package. That's where you get your bigger tank, your blind spot monitor, all the good stuff there. Panoramic view, trailer backup guide with straight path assist. I guess the advanced technology package is the package to have some of the other additions there. There's the pricing. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. It's very bright. 62382, 4x4 crew max, 5.5 for bed, 65952. They want beautiful. Let's look on the inside. I don't think I showed you guys. I like the color keyed, it's got the big screen there got the soft decks please keep in mind the only way to get the digital gauge cluster is you have to have in limited you have to have the iForce Max everything above limited comes automatically with the digital gauge cluster so if you were to get a 1794 with that without the iForce Max you'd still get the digital gauge cluster if you were to get the limited without the iForce Max it would have the standard gauge cluster it's pretty crazy so again, this has a manual bed step they added on, uh, but you could get it with the automatic bed step and the automatic side steps. That comes as a package. Um, but if you have one that doesn't have that automatic bed step, you could always add the little kick down one there, which works very easily. It's not hard. You literally just kick it down and kick it back up when you need it. I still think some way, some shape, sometime down the road, Tundra should come out with some kind of a, integrated bed step kind of like chevy 
And just as I said that, I'm looking across the way. I want to show you something. So there's a Chevy dealership directly across the street, as you can see. I'm going to try to close in here for you. All right, so there you have your area where they keep the Silverados. Sometimes the 2500s are there. Um, and there's nothing over there. There's like five, maybe six. There's a little guy. Might be a Colorado. So really, one, two, three, four, five Silverados are over there. Now, usually, it is filled end-to-end -end with Silverados. So, from what I've been seeing in my ride today, now, I drive to Lakewood Toyota, which is about 30 minutes, and I pass a lot of dealerships along the way. And on my way home, before I walk these trucks at my local lot, I always pull into the local Dodge dealership because it's gigantic. Everyone seems to be fairly low on trucks right now. I mean, there are some Rams, there are some F-150s, there are some Chevys, and there are some Tundras. But usually, the Ford lot's completely full, the Dodge lot is insanely full, and that Chevy lot I've never seen with space up there. So, maybe it's just one of those times where everybody's looking for some chips. Because that shortage is still going on. So, just a little food for thought there. I thank you guys for watching. Out of all the trucks... Which are your favorites? Today's video theme is the TRD Sport because that was three at the other dealership and one here. I really like that silver one. I always like the 1794 and the black. Uh, really love the TRD Pro. Just uh, too rich for my blood. So today I think I'm going to say my favorite of all the trucks we've seen so far is probably this Sport, man. This Celestial Silver Sport has my attention. That is a beautiful truck. It looks so good in silver. I really do think this is the first time I'm seeing Celestial Silver in person on the sport. Could be wrong. I see so many of these trucks, you always forget along the way. But let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite? I feel like a lot of people will agree with me on that one. All right, folks. Have a great Sunday. Till next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. at Tundra Dude 34. Tundra Dude 34 at gmail.com. Poor me. Now I get to go drive this beautiful limited TRD iForce Max all day long. Fun truck to drive. Blueprint looks great, especially under the sun. Be safe. Be well. Take care.